Hey, my name is Delaney. I'm an NPC figure competitor. Today I'm taking out through my leg day. So the first thing I start with is a seated hamstring curl. And I usually do four sets of about 10 to 12 reps um, for that first exercise. The goal for doing the seated hamstring curl first is I feel like it really helps warm up my legs. When I start with hamstrings, I feel like when I go to a quad focus exercise that I can connect a little bit better. They're not as tight, they're like fired up because my quads are definitely dominant. So trying to work on the hamstrings first. So last night, I met the Shaquille O'Neal. So for anybody that doesn't know, he is a DJ now, DJ Diesel. I went to his concert, and I was front row, and I was vibing, it was great. He points in the crowd, brings us up on stage, and so I basically got to hang out with Shaquille O'Neal all last night, until 4 a.m. So I still made it here. I think that's what's like fueling me for today, is I'm still like on that high. I I'm still just like, did that really happen? It just doesn't feel very real. Like he was, he was here, like in DC. I'm drinking Perform EAAs. Use code Delaney to save. Okay, next we're gonna do a leg press. I like this leg press machine right here. I'm gonna try to do four sets as well. So I'll do like a warm up set, work up to a top set, and then a drop set where I'll just narrow my stance and kind of do like a sissy squat. I think the hardest part is trying to find plates that match on each side because I'm OCD. Oh, you <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> it has to match. It's like a scavenger hunt. They at least have to be like the same on like, so if I have a silver one and a black one, I have to have a silver one and a black one on the other side. Cause like, it could like technically be a little different, right? Whatever you think. I don't know, I don't know. That's what I do. <laughs> what was that? No, that's not happening. That's how you stress out somebody who has OCD. I'm very superstitious. Like, you know when you're little and you like walk over the cracks on like a sidewalk? Like my mom, I can't let that happen to her. This upcoming weekend, I'm going to Creed Three Doors Down in Finger 11. So I'm doing like a really, really big switch. It's nice to have something to look forward to rather than just like lifting, because I mean, that gets kind of repetitive. I found if I plan stuff like that to look forward to, it helps me kind of get through the weeks without feeling so like regimented. kind of easy so I'm gonna add one more and then I'll probably work up to five and then go back down is this just like me or does it like everybody do this or do a lot of people do this because I feel like I've talked to some people and they do the same thing they want to have matching so I feel like I need to know please let me know in the comments do we do we like having the same or do we just not care Unless you're in prep, I feel like that doesn't count because I would just put whatever weight I want on there. That's not gonna work. This is going to be. Shh. Shh. Be quiet, be quiet. <laughs> Satisfying that is. It is actually. It's, really <laughs> it's really satisfying.
I'm gonna add 25. I'm not gonna do that drop set because I'm feeling pretty good and I'd rather do more weight. But I like doing the leg press or a squat in my leg day for like my main movement. So usually it's a leg press, leg extension, and then hamstring curl, and then I'll have some accessories. Um, since I only have one leg day a week right now, the leg press or squat kind of targets everything. So more like glutes, hamstrings, since I don't have like a glute hamstring day, it's just a full leg day. So I feel like that, if I really push myself on this, I'm getting like everything. Last week after I hit legs, I think I was sore for like three days. I just can't imagine having to do another leg day after that. So I've been perfectly fine with just like one really brutal heavy leg day a week and then that's it. That's kind of like my thought process behind it. And this is probably my last one because it's going to be heavy. forehead vein starts to pop out <laughs> when I'm like straining. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> what? What's up? <laughs> so we're gonna do a leg extension now for the quads. There's nothing better. Like if you're not doing leg extensions on your leg day, then you're missing out on some quad gains. I'll probably do another four sets here. The first like three things I go pretty heavy on, so then the rest of the workout, it's not easy but it's just like the smaller things I don't need to focus on as much. Some people will be proud. I'm actually wearing shoes on the leg day. Usually I wear my slides and I got clowned one time for wearing my slides. They asked what's up with not wearing like sneakers anymore. And I, I was like, you know, I guess I can start wearing shoes. Usually I go barefoot, but it's fine. I'm wearing shoes today. went up to 180 for this third one and then I'll go back down because I'd rather get more reps um, to really get a good squeeze than to just like sling my legs up there. I feel like sometimes in lifting you do just kind of have to eagle lift a little bit. Your body gets like used to it. I feel like it's like CNS introduction. This, is, this will be heavy. It might not look that great but then I'll go back down and then at least I'm like working my way up to actually repping that um, with pretty good form. Perform yay's again, Code Delaney. Dan, I can't open the lid. This is my last one. I'm just gonna do as many as I can. So next I'm going to do the Panada hip thrust. This is my favorite hip thrust machine that we have. It just does a really good job of targeting the glutes. I don't know, I just feel like I can get more out of it. I don't have to set up a bar. I can really work on that shortened movement, which is just the glutes. I will say the one good thing about being in an off season is that I feel pretty much strong all the time. I remember when I was in prep, there was like one core memory from that. I remember I was on the leg extension like what I just used. And I think I was in peak week and strength just was non-existent. I could barely do any weight. And I remember that day I told myself, when I'm done with prep and I'm in my off season, I'm never gonna complain. Like I don't care if I'm not shredded anymore. As long as I just feel strong and just feel good, then I'll be happy. So every time I feel like watching everybody else compete and then I'm in my off season, it's not very gratifying. Like you don't see the changes 
like you do in a prep where each week you're like losing weight in your off season you're not really changing that much it's kind of just like steady and if anything it just gets more and more food but to feel like strong it just is like really it just feels a lot better than being in prep and just feeling like you're a zombie <laughs> every time you walk in the gym I'm so glad I'm not wellness anymore. <laughs> Training glutes is just not, not it. I started a page called Girls Who Lift RVA. So if you're a girl in the area and are into health and fitness or wellness at all, that's something that me and my friend Megan started. It's an Instagram page. And we're just trying to build a little community where we get together and do different things. We'll do lifts here. We'll do like 5Ks. We'll do girls night out and just a bunch of different and stuff with health and wellness, so like posing seminars as well. I'm just really excited about that, so check that out. Take a guess, what are we doing? Everybody's favorite, Bulgarians. Best for, the, best for the legs. If you're not doing them, then you're being a baby. say it but I usually do two sets of this and I just try to go pretty heavy so I'll do 8 to 12 reps. In my past wellness days I would do Bulgarian split squats and so my last set I would do a drop set and then I would immediately after that do body weight until failure each leg. And then another thing that I had in my leg day three minutes of walking lunges. Three sets. What? Yeah, so I would just go back and forth doing lunges and I started with body weight and I think I worked up to like 25 pounds and I would just do three minutes, three sets. So like when people ask about my legs, I'm like, yeah, they didn't come from nowhere. Thanks for watching.